Yeah, and I, I know a lot of organizations that are hesitant about injecting AI into anything they do, whether it be leveraging AI to analyze uh, IP, um, customer data, something like that. Um, and as an employee, if I'm locked down from accessing these tools uh, on my personal devices or on my business devices, then I'm going to go to my personal devices and you know, maybe some company information sneaks in. Um, what's that biggest danger if, you know, a salesperson pastes customer data into a chatbot? A good example of something that may be restricted today is using things like Google's free translate or other free translation tools to drop in proprietary comfort uh, company information for translation. And the reason for that is because usually when they're free, it means they're not, they don't cost money, but they cost your data. If you're not using it in a lockdown mode, you're putting it into these public models. Most of the time they're allowed to take that data and use it for their training and it may get regurgitated elsewhere. And the big danger with AI is it's just the speed at which things can spread. It's not difficult, it's almost impossible to untrain the model. And basically we're talking here, as you, as you said, Josh, about regulatory violations, because, you know, especially under laws like HIPAA, like GDPR, you know, where you have personal data, then this is really, and if you train the model on personal data, there, it's, it's impossible to untrain this model. And this, intellect, as you said, intellectual property, you know, this is also a huge issue, you know, because you can provide all the trade secrets. It's not only Jason, all these sales guys, you know, it's also developers, you know, who provide proprietary software, a uh, code to, 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 to models, you know, and, and this, you don't know actually where it's going to. So this is basically an issue here for a company because they may lose control over all this information. And this is also causing reputational damage for all these companies, you know, because you never know, you know, what happens where the data is going to end up and how the model will end up as trained because, you know, it can be biased. You know, there are so many different issues that can happen if you don't have this under control. It's about right. cybersecurity culture, but now it's AI cultural. So, you know, so people need to understand all the risks about AI, how to use it properly, you know, how to implement this in the company. Training, training, training is the thing and, and teaching yourself too. If you're an information security professional, professional at a company, you need to be learning about AI security, learning things even as mundane as what does a bad prompt even look like?